Hey, this is Tildrill with a short Genshin Impact video. I really hope this video reaches you in time and you are not stuck at Adventure Rank 45 on World Level 6 with two bullet spongy enemies and no possibility to clear domains. You know, there is this consensus in the community right now that you just need to grind to Adventure Rank 45 and suddenly you are in the promised land that you get good drops, that you get amazing artifacts and the game just gets better from this point on. Just make it to adventure rank 45 somehow and you are good. But this is not quite true. If you just grind it out until adventure rank 45, barely managing to beat your opponent, you are going to have a very bad time. Not only the enemies in the overworld get hard to kill, in order to get those good artifact drops, you need to clear domains where your enemies are 10 levels higher than your characters. Yes, your max level is 80 and all enemies, including the elite mobs, will be level 90. And if you're not prepared for that, you will hit a literal pff, wall. So, to make sure that this isn't happening to you, you need to take two precautions. First and foremost, learn all the elemental reactions in the game. There is no way around it. Learn them by heart. Not only to use them for yourself, but also because the enemies will use those reactions too. Fatui agents will one-hit your characters if you don't know what to look out for. And this can be very frustrating. And for the second precaution, focus on building a good, reliable, all-rounder team from adventure rank 40 to 45. This is your main objective. This means talents on level 6 or higher, maxed out weapons max character level and good 4-star artifacts. Maybe here and there a 5-star, if you get it. But 4-star artifacts are enough, even for the most part of the late game. Well, okay, but what is a good all-round team, you ask? I give you a checklist. You need the following. One good DPS character who does damage. Duh. A character who can create good reactions with your DPS character or any other character in your team. A Claymore character for all those Geo Shields and structures. A bow user to hit weak points of enemies. Of course, a healer. A character with a high elemental burst uptime wearing a 4 piece Noblesse Oblige set. And last but not least, if you use a physical damage dealer as your main DPS, you need one Electro and one Cryo character in your team. This is mandatory. This is the list. Of course, a single character can and hopefully will fill out more than one point of this list. And when you build your team, aim for the highest variety of elements possible. So in the best case, you have four different elements in your team. Elemental resonance isn't as important as it sounds. Yes, the fire resonance with its 25% damage boost sounds good on paper, but think about it. Is it really necessary? Is there such a difference between dealing 1000 damage with an attack or 1250? If you deal 10,000 damage with an attack or 12,500. When you start dishing out numbers like 30,000 or 50,000, then you can think about building your elemental resonance. But until then, yeah. At first, it is much more important to have an answer to as many elemental shields and invulnerabilities as possible. The only exception regarding those elemental resonances is the electro resonance. Supercharged. Because it doesn't influence your damage numbers. Instead, it 
boosts your energy regeneration by a crazy amount. And this is always helpful. Yes, and basically this is it. If you focus on building such a team until Adventure Rank 45, you will be able to face every domain with few to no problems at all. And just to show you, here I basically ran a team of Barbara, Fischl, Shangling and Beidou pretty much all the game. Occasionally swapping out my Barbara for Jean when it was necessary and swapping out my Fischl against a <laughs> level 1 Kaya in case I fought against electroimmune enemies. But other than that, this was my team. I got a Noblesse Oblige set for Barbara and although the two-piece set bonus is really useless on Barbara, the four-piece set bonus combined with her Dragon Slayer book turns every damage dealer you use, no matter which character you use, in a literal god or a goddess. <laughs> Just try it yourself, it's unbelievably powerful. Yeah, I guess there's nothing more to say on this topic. I hope this video helped you and that we see each other again. Bye.